All right, it's the final part. I have nine minutes left on my phone, like I said earlier, right? I want inside to have my smoke, but you guys won't tell because I shut the camera off. I only kill time in like first part. I'll go out, I'll leave the camera running, but for the final part, I don't want to kill the camera time, so. Yeah, so think of a world like that for Xanus and think of demons like that for Xanus, man. That's why you're looking at a fucking masterpiece, man. Xanus will be a masterpiece. A masterpiece. Will your book be thick, Ivan? Yeah. I don't know. My Lord of the Rings book here, Return of the King, is how many pages? Excluding the appendices. Oh, yeah, it continues with the pages for the books, right? I don't know how long the book is. Return of the King is about a 380, 400 page book. My book will be thicker than this, guys. It'll be maybe. My book might be maybe this thick. Like about that thick, maybe. You're looking at like an 800 page book, man. Like that thick. These two books together. It's a big, like, red book. What are you thinking of for your book, Ivan? I'll show you. Lord of the Rings Red Book Audition. Looking at a beautiful book, man. Yeah. Picture something like like this for my book. They have the whole thing for two they have one book of all three books for two hundred and forty dollars. I have the three books here. Um, it's time for me to buy it, huh? I have the nice... Yeah, things like this for my book, guys. Something fucking beautiful. Yeah, look at that. A nice... See how you see the inscriptions on it? Yeah. I think some of that for my book. It's like one book and the three volumes are in there. Looking at a book like that. Yeah. Fucking beautiful. If you don't want to buy the beautiful the beautiful edition book, you can just uh, pay 22 bucks and read the ebook online. Your laptop or your iPad or something or your phone. I recommend you don't read it on your phone. I recommend you either read it on your laptop or your, your iPad. That way you get a better experience. Will you release an audiobook in the future? Maybe. In the future, I might release an audiobook for it too. But for now, I'm just sick to the, to the print. Yeah, see? I think it's something like this for my, for my book. Yeah, something like this for my book. See? This is the, the, the one book edition for Lord of the Rings where they have all three books in the one book. That's what it's going to be like for my book. You have one big book and like all three volumes are in the one book. That way the printing costs are cheaper. You see the inscriptions there? Yeah, it says like Lasso Rosanus with the trees and everything. That's my idea for my book. Something like that. I like the other... I think something like this. Yeah, for my book, yeah. It has a mysterious cover. Something nice like that, yeah. I'll sell it for like 80 bucks, the print, and the, the ebook I'll sell for $22 if you don't want to buy the, the print. So if you're cheap and you don't want to buy, you don't feel like spending 80 bucks on the book, you can pay your cheap $20 and read the ebook on your on your laptop or your or on your iPad. If you're looking for an amazing, I'm going to take you for a ride looking at an amazing story. <laughs> I wrote a masterpiece. Yeah, I think something like this. Ivan, will you have a cover where you insert the book inside? Maybe. We'll see what happens like this. The book is inside the, the, the cover box. I don't know if mine will come with a, come, come in a cover box. I might just have just the book without the cover box, but I mean, we'll see what happens. It looks like beautiful, yeah, my, my book. Yeah. Now I'm gonna turn that book into, the, into a movie. But look, this book is an adaption based, this book is an adaption based off the novel written by Ivan O'Mara. It says the title starts the last hope for Zane is the movie starts. You got the prologue with Edgar's album. Look at that amazing movie, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's why my son cries. Because what? She, uh, I don't like him anymore, guys. She doesn't want to miss out on this life, man. If she got duped, I did not get duped. That's why she, she cries, man. Because she got duped, I did not get duped. Yeah, man. She got to do bad, man. Bad. We were still I like your book. Yeah, she will. She'll be like, she'll be shocked. I did you really write this book on your own? I'm like, yeah, I did. She's like, holy shit. I, that was such an amazing book. This is like the best fantasy novel I've ever read in my life. This is like the best book I ever read in my, novel I ever read in my life, Ivan. Fuck, you're a good storyteller. Yeah, like I read all these other guys. Their books are like a bit dry and a bit boring. 
Whereas your story, like, the characters jump on the page that keeps you hooked. My characters jump on the page. They feel like real life characters. Whereas Lord of the Rings, the characters don't jump on the page. They feel a bit dull. I talked about this a couple years ago, right? Lord of the Rings, Warbling jumps on the page and, and the speech and details of the dialogue. But the characters are dull. Whereas my book, it's the opposite. The world of building doesn't really jump. It jumps. My Warbling jumps on the page, but not like Lord of the Rings. What really jumps on the page for my book is the characters. I focus more on characters. And I describe the world a lot of through their, their perspectives. So through their conversations and their dialogue, you get an idea of what the world's like from the character's perspective. Instead of just dumping you with a bunch of information, what the tree looks like, what the door looks like, I don't like doing that. Because otherwise your readers can get bored. The Magina, I don't want to tell you this story. I focus more on the characters. And I describe the world building through the character's perspective. And that's how it makes it feel pretty real. Not as real as Lord of the Rings, but it's, it, I, the, my world building is, is good too. It's not as good as Lord of the Rings, but the characters are better than Lord of the Rings. They jump up more on the page. They feel more real. I'm sorry. They feel more real, obviously. Is any better than Lord of the Rings, Ivan? I hate to say this. I don't want to be cocky, but from what I've read, I read Lord of the Rings. I finished Lord of the Rings like two years ago. 2022, I finished Return of the King. I read all... All I had left to do is... I read a good, like, almost 30 pages of the appendices. I want to finish it eventually. Whoa, how far am I in? I still have, like... I don't know, like... 60 pages left to read for the appendices or whatever it is. Whatever it is. 60 pages left, which I will finish. All three books I read... I read Fellowship's Ring two and a half times in my life. And I read Two Towers and I read Return of the King. They're good books. Amazing books. But I compare it to my book. I'm like, my book is more interesting. It's better. It's a better book. I'll give you a heads up. Lord of the Rings does have better world than my book. Better dialogue. Better speech. It's more rich, obviously. The dialogue and speech is more rich. The world is more rich. But my characters are better than Lord of the Rings. In my opinion. And my story is better. I have a better story than Lord of the Rings. Destroying the One Ring is a good story. But it's not my, my book. Man. My book is a, has a deeper plot. Better book. Yeah. How much money did you make off your book, by the way, for your book royalties, by the way, Ivan? Unless you mean I looked, I was like, how much money did you make, Ivan? You know, I said, I'm like, holy shit, this girl's evil. She's like, how, how much, Ivan? How much money did you make? I'm like, yeah, I made like $9.7. You made $9.7 off your book. Holy shit. That's a lot of money. We can do unheard things with that money, Ivan. Yeah, I know. We can build that 500 condo, buy that yard, buy that Incredibles jet. We can fund the Zanes with our own cash. It's our own. Skyrim's our name and company. Yeah. By the way, Ivan, are you going to share that with me? Are you going to share that with me, Ivan? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, holy shit, this girl's crazy. No, Ivan, seriously, are you going to share it with me? I'm like, yeah, I will. Relax, man. I'm going to share the money with you. We go to Vancouver, we'll register for the bank cards. She's fucking evil, yeah, man. She's the only one where I'm sharing the account, by the way, because she's my significant other. She wrote my role. She has a keys like me. Whereas if I run out with my girlfriend, hypothetically speaking, I would never ever share the money with me. I just pay her a salary and work with my company, and then she doesn't touch my money. Some Sarah. Yeah. Some Sarah. And the buzz of Zanes is going to blow all these movies out of the water. You think Avengers, Star Wars had a crazy buzz and nothing. Zanes will blow it out of the water. Yeah. Demons and devils, man. That's why those Zanes are so lucky. Sarah. Anyways, guys, I ran out of time with the is very. I hope you guys enjoyed this show. I'm gonna enjoy the show with you guys. I'm gonna take my shower. I didn't. I didn't shower before I went to work today. I remember. I'm signing up. Peace, guys. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye. Peace. Don't hate him, son. <laughs>